Hey YouTube, this is a question about physics. Now I suspect that I would probably have to take a couple semesters of physics classes and probably calculus as well to phrase this the right way, and a couple more semesters to understand the answer. But on the off chance that this is not true, I'm going to try. Let me apologize in advance for my crude choice of words. Motion is relative. We normally think of the moon revolving around the earth because the moon does a lot more moving. This is a practical choice of words, but technically speaking, the earth and the moon really revolve around one another. It's just that in this revolution, the earth has a lot more mass and is, theref and is therefore more resistant to changes in its momentum. Therefore, the movement of the moon relative to the earth is apparent, but the movement of the earth relative to the moon is negligible and so we usually find it practical to ignore it with our choice of words. If the Earth and the Moon were closer in mass, the movement of the Earth would be much more apparent, and we would change our choice of words as a matter of practical necessity, if indeed we existed at all, but that's a different discussion. Movement is relative. We once thought that everything in the solar system revolved around the Earth, because from an earthbound perspective, it does. If, on the other hand, we regard this from a sunbound perspective, or from the perspective of a hypothetical satellite watching the Earth and the Sun from a position several AUs above or below the ecliptic, then it becomes more accurate to talk about the Earth revolving around the Sun. When we talk about object A moving, we only mean changing position relative to object B. And if A and B have about the same properties, then it is no less accurate to talk about it as object B changing position relative to object A. But then, as an object approaches the speed of light, it undergoes a time dilation. For that object, time slows. But the speed of light relative to what? If we start out with object A and object B, both maintaining much the same position relative to one another. And then some force acts on object A, changing its momentum to a trajectory past object B at 0.7 times the speed of light. Then at the moment it passes, object A is moving at 0.7 times the speed of light relative to object B, but object B is also moving at 0.7 times the speed of light relative to object A. If velocity and movement are relative, and time slows, for an object as it approaches the speed of light, and each object is approaching the speed of light relative to the other. What factors govern which object undergoes the time dilation?